Okay, there's two of them in the water, so let's go ahead and get up to this one here. And the other one looks to be on the other side of the plane. You can see the helicopter actually <laughs> in the water. Uh, let's see how this thing fights the waves here. Oh, these waves are massive! Uh-oh. <laughs> Poor ship's just sitting in the water. It looks so sad. Oh, the seas are absolutely unforgiving. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, playing some more Stormworks. You guys seem to really enjoy the first episode of this game. Now if you're not familiar with the game, Stormworks is a creative building game where you run your own Coast Guard and the objective is to actually manage and build your own crafts uh, from boats, helicopters, to land vehicles and take on some missions that the game actually gives you. Really excited about this. I am in the alpha version of it. Uh, if you want to get into the alpha, I will link the website down below. Uh, but what we're going to do here today, we're actually going to continue the career mode. I was meaning to jump into a bit of creative and maybe try to create a craft, but I just was kind of out of time this week. So I figured let's go ahead, take on some more missions and see what else the game has to offer in terms of missions. And plus we'll probably have to do a little bit of building in there anyways. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into this. If you have any suggestions for builds for future episodes in creative mode, comment below. But let's get right into the campaign here. All right, here we are in campaign mode. I'm actually fast forwarding time. I'm in my little hut over here. I'm uh, waiting for a mission. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is actually probably our first rescue mission. All right, let's wake up here. Seems like two helicopter pilots are in the water after a training accident. We need to uh, rescue them. So let's go ahead and take on this mission. Now, if you missed the first episode, I'm going to flash it up in the top right corner. Uh, we did do a couple of the missions and did a bit of building. Uh, but what we're going to have to do here, apparently we have, I think it said two pilots to rescue. Now, question is, do I have any crafts that are remotely idea for that? Let's go ahead and check in. Uh, I did download a couple workshop items. I've got like a Coast Guard ship. I don't think any of these actually fit inside of this port, except for the, uh, or this dock, except for our original boats. I really downloaded these for some sort of creative mode. And we'll probably check these out here in a bit, but we have a mission to take part in here. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and grab the uh, CG boat. This is the default boat, but I added on to it last episode to uh, be able to pick up some crates. One thing I think I'm going to need to add, if I figure we need some sort of a, let's see, some extra seats here. Is it just going to be pilot seats? Okay, so passenger seats. Uh, let's shove a couple of these in the back real quick because uh, I'm pretty sure the pilots are going to need somewhere to sit. So, got that. Let's go ahead and save this. I uh, will save it as CG... I'll just name it Boat 1. I have probably like two or three of these. Uh, let's go ahead and save this and let's not worry about painting. We need to get out there immediately. Now, uh, oh, didn't mean to do that. Let's go ahead and go to spawn. Now, a lot of these missions are kind of timed and they do seem to come at random times uh, during the uh, day. So you have to be careful and you have to kind of manage uh, what missions you want to take on first. Uh, luckily, we only have one mission here and it's to rescue these downed pilots. Let's go ahead. Uh, let's look at a map real quick. Uh, they are in between the islands here. This shouldn't be too far away, actually. So yeah, we're going to take a right right here. But anyways, like I said, I am searching for stuff to build in creative mode. I just ran out of time this week. Uh, I do want to kind of probably start on boats first, because that seems like the most straightforward item to build. And then maybe eventually we'll work our way over to like helicopters and stuff like that. But anyways, uh, let's get out into the water here and see what kind of trouble we're going to get into here. Hopefully I've got the right stuff to rescue these pilots. I figured they only need a couple of seats and maybe I just need to jump into the water and uh, grab them. This would be ideal if we actually had like a helipad right now and had a rescue helicopter. I have one downloaded but I don't have the helipad unlocked in the career mode. Alright, we're coming close to the accident scene. I can see what appears to be something in the water there to the right. I don't know if that's the helicopter itself. Which, yeah, it appears to be. I gotta find the pilots here. So we're going to get inside the target area, but the, I think the it'll probably spread out where the pilots actually are. So we need to kind of uh, be careful here. I don't want to run them over. Okay, there's one of them. Okay, there's two of them in the water. So let's go ahead and get up to this one here. And the other one looks to be on the other side of the plane. You can see the helicopter actually <laughs> in the water. Do I need to just jump out and grab them? Or let's go ahead and do that. Come on, buddy. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so you actually tell them to follow you. Uh, do I tell him, can I tell him to get in the seat here, or how do I tell you, I wonder if he'll just jump in automatically, it's kind of what I'm hoping happens, uh, where did he, 
go, actually? Did he get in the boat? Okay, he's gone. I wonder if it's detecting like he's in the boat right now. Let's go ahead and go grab the other one real quick. I was kind of hoping he was going to use the seat. Actually, no, he's still following me. All right, this could be a, a little weird. He's going to need to get inside that boat. I guess I need to maybe go up the ladder on the side. Let's go ahead and get the second guy over here in the water. Like I said, do keep in mind, it is an alpha right now, so some of these features not, might not be complete. Uh, so let's see if we can get these people up in the boat. There's got to be a way to command them to get into the seat here. All right, looks like I can actually pick him up on the side of the boat, so that's kind of weird. Oh, where'd he go? There he goes. Okay, he's in here. Okay, what else can I tell you? I guess maybe he isn't going to actually sit down in the seat. Let's go ahead and try to get this guy over here. Come on. I need you to follow me, and let's go and get up in the boat. And we should have him rescued. I know it looks a little odd that there's water coming into the boat, but that's uh, it's actually okay. <laughs> let's see. Get up in here. Come on. There we go. Trying to set him up in here. It's kind of like picking up the crates. The water is extremely choppy right now, so it's kind of tough to get him up into the boat. See if we can hold E to pick him up, and see if we can get him in here. All right, they both appear to be in the boat here. I'm assuming they're fine. I guess there's nothing we can do about the actual helicopter itself. Kind of wish they would set in the seat there because it looks like they're extremely close to uh, falling. Uh, is there a way to tell them, hey, get in the seat? Kind of wish there was a way to command him here. Let's see if we can uh, tell him to follow. And no, I can only get in the passenger seat. Okay, well, I guess you just need to stop here and... Hope that you maintain a balance in the boat here. And, all right, let's go ahead and turn around. We're going to have to take our time to get back to base. Uh, it looks like they're actually going to stay in. They're just kind of doing this weird uh, running motion. So that's something they probably need to add in, is the ability for, like, survivors to actually set in the boats. I'm kind of curious how this would work with a helicopter if they uh, don't plant themselves. Of course, I could be completely doing this wrong, and they're actually doing that. They're actually, like, speed walking right now. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's a uh, Coast Guard helicopter that went down. I'm curious if they want us to retrieve that. I guess that's not our job. Uh, I guess we're just actually out here to rescue here. So anyways, it's getting dark. Uh, let's go ahead and head back into our little dock or wherever I'm taking them. Am I taking them to the dock, the original house or the original dock, or am I taking them somewhere else? Might be a hospital or something over here that I need to drop them off at. But yeah, let's head over there. All right. Well, our buddies did a pretty good job at actually staying inside the boat. Uh, they're kind of doing this weird running motion, but the docks over here, I'm kind of, I'm kind of curious to see how we're gonna get them out of, out of the boat here. Uh, there's a drop off up here. I'm not sure if this is the hospital, which I want to say it is. Uh, we delivered to this in the first episode. The hospital needed some supplies. Uh, one thing I have done, I've actually got my flashlight on right now, which I discovered that's a thing last episode. I really need to modify this boat and get some sort of. Uh, Probably some sort of lights, which I'm pretty sure they have in the game on it. Don't want to even bother parking right next to the dock. Let's go ahead. We're going to shut the boat off here. And uh, let's go ahead. Oh, nope. Stay off. There we go. And we're going to get these people and see if we can get them on shore here. All right. I just now noticed there's actually an animation when you pick up the characters. I don't play too much in third person here. So I think this is actually going to be pretty easy to do. Was kind of fearing how I was gonna do this so we need to get up on the ladder here should be able to turn around and hopefully yep I can grab him I'm gonna set him down here and see if I can grab the other guy now he's gonna need to be a little bit closer uh, to the ladder here so let's get him to follow me over here there we go and well they they both look like they're willing and able to uh, to walk here so I'm probably gonna allow him to do that I kind of want to carry one of them to the hospital come on dude we almost got this Okay, stop following me here, and we're going to pick you up. All right, we are arriving at the hospital. I decided to go ahead and carry one of the guys. It kind of looks cool. Uh, so we're going to carry him in here, deliver him, and hopefully get paid here. Uh, let's go ahead and open the door. There we go. Come on. You're going to have to move, buddy. Let's see. Doors open. Let's get them in here to the drop-off. I'll go ahead and pick you up and carry you back in here. There we go. There's one. And you stop following. There we go. Two. Cool, so we've got some more parts here, another $1,000, that's pretty awesome. Uh, so yeah, that is our first actual rescue mission, so that's a thing in the game. I kind of really look forward to having a rescue helicopter to do missions like that. Kind of curious, I need to look at some of the parts, I'm pretty sure maybe there's going to be something like a basket or something that you can uh, lower into the water and maybe pick people up that way, uh, that would be really cool. 
But anyways, uh, we're going to return to our craft, and I guess we're going to head back to base here since we've completed this mission. Alright, so we are in the creative sandbox mode. I wanted to take a small break from the career mode. Now, folks, if you do want to see more career mode, let me know in the comments below if you want to see some more of the missions. Uh, what I want to do here is be able to look at some of this stuff without limits. Uh, the career mode, you don't have certain parts, so I don't think you can build certain items. And I wanted to check out a couple workshop creations here. That way, if we do want to build something, we'll have a better idea as to what to build. And I must say, look at the waves right now. These are absolutely vicious. Really windy outside. Uh, kind of excited here to jump into something. Let's go ahead and go to this workbench here. Now, over on this island, there appears to be a hangar over there for maybe planes. And there's a big dock over there for maybe really big uh, boats. I don't know how big of boats I do have here. I've got a couple that are decent size. Oh, look at that. That is amazing. Okay, so this is one of the new workshop creations. Uh, let's go ahead and look at it real quick. It's the HMS Seaworth. I will uh, link this down below uh, for the creator here. Uh, let's spawn this in and just check out what the possibilities are for building here. So we're going to load... Uh, yeah, we'll load this one in, spawn it, and see what it looks like. Oh. Oh, that is so cool. I'm getting a little bit of frame rate drop with it. Look at that. How did I get into this? The waters are so rough right now. It uh, looks like there's a ladder on the side. Let's go ahead and hop in here. Boom. Okay. Use a small ladder. Now, this one, I don't think this one was created by the actual creator of the game. This is somebody that has already been working on the workshop a bit. Uh... Oh, this is so sweet looking. So I got a lot of passenger areas here. This actually looks like... Is this the motor? Alright, these are the motors right here. Uh, it's kind of got a full detailed interior. The water is absolutely just deadly right now. I don't know what's up with the uh, weather. We might need to start getting out in the uh, open water. Because I think we're going <laughs> to... It's going to be hard to get out of this dock. We're already slammed up against the wall. Uh, let's get into the... Uh, let's get into... Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We might capsize here. Oh, this is bad. All right, let's return to workbench real quick. Okay, let's spawn it back. There we go. Okay, let's hop into this real quick. I've never dealt with the sea being this violent. Uh, let's get out into the sea real quick. That way we're not bouncing up against the dock. And we can check this creation out a bit more. So let's get up to the, uh, the captain's quarters up here. I can hardly even walk up the stairs right now. The seas are so rough. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's see, where are we at? Got a little switch right here. Alright, here it is. Pilot seat. How do we fire this up? Search light, engine. Interior lights. Let's go ahead and turn on all these search lights. Alright, and let's, uh, let's get moving here. Let's try to get out into the water. That way we're not stuck on the, uh, the dock there. This is so awesome. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how he put this together. It looks like he just skewed out the front. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Scrap Mechanic when you're using the wedge blocks. Uh, so this is definitely something I think I can do. Uh, he's got two rudders in the bottom. He's got a lot of, uh, he's got two propellers. He's got a lot of rudders, actually. I didn't, <laughs> that's a ton of them. Okay, so that's how he's getting this big thing to turn. Uh, let's see how this thing fights the waves here. Oh, these waves are massive. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, don't capsize. Come on, buddy. I'm trying to think, uh, when you're in really rough seas, I think you go along with the waves? Or you might even go against them. Uh, going with them right now is actually helping. I just don't want to get stuck down in between the actual, like, the peak of the wave and down into the bottom. Could you imagine using the career mode ship in this wa water? This wouldn't even, this wouldn't be possible. Oh, here we go. We're getting some air. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh. We might need a rescue here, folks. We have capsized. That is, that's too cool. Are we... Is it actually filling with water? Are we sinking or are we just, are we level here? Huh. I think we're level. Yeah, we need like a tow. <laughs> we need some help here. I kind of want to hop out. Oh, yep, we have completely capsized here. Oh, we're underwater. Oh, this is, now we have a ship sinking simulator. Okay, let's see if we can get out of here. Uh, keep in mind the character cannot die, so I, I don't know if they're going to add that. That might be something in future career mode updates. Let's go ahead and try to pop open the door here. See if we can try to manage to get out of this ship. There we go. Alright, gotta kind of dive down here, try to clear the boat itself. And we are in the water. Now we officially 
need some sort of rescue. Now, that is an awesome craft. All right, so the sea has cleared up. I went ahead and uh, fast forwarded today. Uh, that was almost impossible to go in uh, and actually float around. So we're going to have to figure out a, a different method to actually uh, conquer those waves. Uh, that would be a real big issue for a rescue. I think I think this is the boat that we were just in, the yellow boat. It's already floated out this way. Uh, let's go ahead and grab another boat. I wonder, can we use this up here? This looks like to be one of those big overhead cranes. Oh, that would be kind of cool if we can actually use this. There's so many neat little features about this game, and it's kind of amazing that it's just in its very, very early stages, because uh, it's already impressive so far. It would be really cool if I could actually use the... Oh, I can't use the crane, can I? Oh, you can. Oh, look at this. You can actually use the crane. Okay, so I can go forward. So, say if we needed to pick up one of our boats, so it's got a magnet on it, and I'm assuming there's a hook or something down here. I wish I could actually see it. It's kind of a kind of a pain to see. Can we see it in the third person camera? Seems like something that we can use. Uh, let's try, is there a, where's the down? Okay, down. I'm gonna hold that for a second, see if it's actually lowering something. Oh yeah, there's a little hook there. You can see it at the bottom. It's like a probably something to grab ships with. Uh, maybe smaller ships. Couldn't imagine it grabbing, grabbing the really big ship, but... Okay, that's something that's pretty cool. I didn't know you can actually use that. It seems like they have a lot of things planned. Okay, there was a track it was running on. Cool. Alright, let's go ahead. Uh, we're going to open up one more vehicle here and check it out. I had this one uh, planned out here. Uh, it's a Coast Guard Ship 1. Uh, let's go ahead, take a quick look at it. It's got a crane on it, so I'm assuming this could be used for some sort of rescue. I'm trying to figure out how they're using the crane. I'm going to have to break this one apart, too, to figure it out. So you got a crane there. It's got a helipad on the back, which is kind of cool. All right, let's go ahead. Let's spawn this real quick and see how big it is. Oh, that's pretty big. Okay, that's a lot bigger than the picture looks. Uh, I would say it's almost as big as the ship that's you can somewhat see that's capsized way out there. We need to hurry up and get on this one. This one's moving. Uh, back here is a helipad. Is that a... Oh, no, okay, this is the workbench as far as the dock. I thought maybe there was a workbench built onto here where you can spawn a helicopter on it. That'd be kind of cool. Let's go ahead and open this up here. Okay, so one of these is going to lead to the cabin. Oh, it's kind of hard to hop up this. Kind of needs to be some stairs here. Can we just hop off the ladder like this? Okay, there we go. All right, it's going to take us out to, I'm assuming, the front of the boat here. The waves are still kind of rough. Uh, it's not terrible. Kind of curious where we actually get to use that. Maybe I have to go even further up here. Let's toggle that button. There's quite a few decks in here. Okay, what deck is this? Oh, come on. You can make it. Yeah, this thing, the one weird thing about building these that I've noticed uh, when I was looking at the creator is that you're going to have to uh, kind of actually build from the ground up. Like, you can't build the shell and then go in. I mean, maybe you can maneuver around, but I do think that would be actually kind of hard. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Okay, folks, here is your logic setup. I'm assuming this is actually probably for the crane itself. Let's see. No, we just fired up. Did we just fire up the uh, propellers? Okay, this is the pilot seat, but this also looks like it's got all the buttons for the crane itself too all right let's see what we got here magnet okay so this is the the crane so we can actually control it can we control that from the pilot seat that would be kind of cool if we could power down power up landing lights helipad magnet so okay there's a magnet on there that's what that little pad is on the back of the helicopter or on the helipad there's that little circle piece so you can stick a actual helicopter to that. Okay, that's good to know. Railings. What is that? Are we dropping railings? Okay, the helipad lights are on. Let me walk all the way around. I guess we can come back into here. This is too cool. Like, I, I'm going to have to definitely sit down and try to build something here. Let's turn on the cabin lights. Operating lights, interior lights, and deck lights are all on. All right, let's go ahead and try piloting this one and see what it's like. There we go. Okay, so the railings, I guess to get something on board, say, like, uh, say if there's a mission where you have to recover something that's a bit bigger, you can use the uh, the crane there and stick it on the front deck. 
That is so neat. Okay, question is, why aren't we moving forward? We can turn right now, but we're not... We're not carrying forward here on this one. At least it doesn't seem like we are. We're actually drifting to the shore. And I can hear it giving power. I'm not really sure what's going on here. Okay, that's kind of weird. Uh, I can control the power up from here. So I can actually set the motor. Oh, you can set the motor from uh, inside using the buttons. It's actually holding itself open here. So you don't necessarily have to be at the pilot seat. Can I control it from there though? Okay, oh, I'm actually controlling the crane. So they have, and I'm assuming there's just different buttons that you can do this. Maybe he wants you to actually control this one from uh, the buttons here. But it seems like you could should be able to control it with the W and S, but there might be a different mode. I'm sure there's a, d a bunch of different ways to actually set these up. Let's go ahead and start losing some speed here. Uh, we're almost by the capsized ship from earlier. Let's uh, turn a little bit. We'll get close to it. I would say, hey, let's grab it with the crane and see if we can do that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's going on here? What is going on? Okay, power down. Power down. Power down. We kind of got stuck in a wave there, I think. Yeah, the sea's getting rough again. I don't know what it is about being in creative mode and having these choppy of seas. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of different things that you have to think about when designing these ships. And I'm getting a lot of ideas now. Like, I want something fairly wide like this, but I think I need something even longer. Uh, almost like one of the big cutters. I would like to actually create that. It would kind of be cool just to create a little raft too to try to see what the waves do to it. Uh, we might have to go grab one of those. Just to see what would happen. But this is another cool creation. I just got to work with this a bit more. And figure out exactly what I'm doing. With the creation itself. And then we could really probably accomplish some cool things. I'm trying to wonder like how much the you actually have to kind of grind and campaign. To get the other islands. We're going to have to travel over to them and see how much they cost. There we are. There's our lost capsized ship. <laughs> Poor ship's just sitting in the water. It looks so sad. Oh, the seas are absolutely unforgiving anyways uh we're gonna go grab one more ship all right so the last thing i wanted to try I would try out the helicopters i played around with them a little bit and they are gonna take a lot of time to get used to learning how to work them they are quite complicated uh the last thing i'm gonna spawn here is actually our normal boat i just want to take it out in the seas here and just see truly how rough this is and see if this is actually capable of dealing with the seas all right, here we are. We are in Old Faithful here. We're going to go out into the ocean again and just try to tackle. It actually looks like the water's calmed down just a bit. Uh, let's clear the port, and I think it's going to get a little bit rougher out here. But yeah, there's definitely some sort of, I don't know, some sort of weather condition right now that's causing these huge waves because in campaign, uh, we weren't dealing with these. Now, this may be something that they would make you tackle on later, which... Yeah, you're going to have to really think about your design choices here. And oh, boy, that's a big wave. That is so impressive. I actually really love the water effects. And Oh, we went completely <laughs> completely underwater there. Uh, maybe we need to fight the waves. I'm trying to head back out to the crash site of the uh, boat that we had earlier just to see it. Uh, hopefully, we can get over some of this. Boy, we are really fighting the waves now. This is insane. Look at that. Oh, boy, this is going to be so fun actually taking on missions in water like this. Oh, there we go. Submerged. I need to let the boat try to level itself back out here. There it goes. Uh, we're almost at the crash site of the first ship. It's still just sitting there capsized. Yeah, I would guess you'd have to make a tow or something if you actually wanted to tow this back. And this is why we're doing this in creative mode. Because stuff does cost money in the actual career mode. So goofing around like this... It's probably not suggested. I'm glad there is a creative mode to be able to do this in. Yep, there she is. Uh, that is the boat. Huh. wonder how we could get it back over. It looks pretty bad right there. This would be cool to have like almost a mission like this where you have to uh, maybe rescue some crew that just were in a capsized boat. I'm, it's not to say that they already don't have it when we already saw the helicopter mission today. But anyways, folks, that's going to about wrap it up for this episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It surely has been pretty epic. Uh, let me know, like I said, for stuff that you want me to build in sandbox mode, comment below. And if you want to see some more of the career mode, also let me know. I do look forward to doing some more of those missions and figuring just what else the game has to offer. But like I said, if you want to join the alpha, it is down in the description below. 
Uh, try joining up, see if you can get into that. Uh, the, I will also link the Steam page too if you want to check it out there. Ho hopefully it comes into early access relatively soon. But anyways folks, if you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time on Stormworks. Thank you.